What up, Dokoners? Today, we're going to be taking on stage two of the new event, the Dokkan Ultimate Thrilling Battle. In this event, the main appeal is basically having to clear a bunch of different missions. You're fighting one enemy. It's not that difficult compared to like Blue Zone and whatnot, but the goal is to clear it using a bunch of different teams for various missions. Now, if we look at all of the missions, there are a lot. So I'm adding an extra challenge to myself to try to compress and combine a bunch of these missions together. So I wrote everything down and I've tried to do everything in as few teams as possible so that I can show you all of them in one video. But in reality, you should honestly do these all separate because you're going to have to clear this a total of 10 times anyway. So even if you complete all of the other category type missions in like five runs, you still got to do it five more times. So it's not the worst thing in the world to just do them one at a time. But if we look at some of these, like you got to clear within two turns, you got to clear with every single super type, every single extreme type, you got to clear with three full powers, you got to clear with three androids, you got to clear with three fusions, you got to clear with three resurrected warriors, three Majin powers, three Super Saiyan threes, a squad of six Wicked Bloodline, a squad of six Realm of Gods, a squad of six Super Saiyans, Saiyan Saga, and then everything else. So I'm going to try to do all of these in clusters of missions. So we're going to start with a team that is three Super Saiyan threes, three full powers, three Resurrected Warriors, and three Majin powers. And that is what this team is right here. As you can see, we got the Super Saiyan threes right there. Couple of these guys are full powers. Resurrected Warriors would be Goku, all the boos. Majin power, obviously the boos. I don't know if this team works. This is my first time attempting the event and I'm gonna be doing it with this wacky team. Does it work? All right. Let's find out. It is an STR Broly enemy. And this could not have been more perfect. I have all of the best units on the first two turns and the worst one is in the last slot. I actually might be able to do this. I don't know. Oh, he AOEs. Okay, that I didn't know about. Okay. Uh, the good news is he AOEs before my Super Saiyan 3 Super Easy A gets to go. So I actually think we might be able to do this. I really want to see how this goes. Okay, so next rotation. I'm going to save the Int Orbs. We got Boo Tanks. All right, cool. So let's do, uh, let's do this. And then let's do this. I'm saving all of the Int and STR key spheres because next turn the Fat Boo will be able to change them all into STR. Could this actually go really, really well? Oh yeah, absolutely it does. Wow. That was such a lucky start. Okay, he dodged. He dodged. SCG. We could have probably... We would have OTK'd in just slot one if we had a few more supers there. But we definitely clear this right here. So, like I said, very easy when you compare this to Blue Zone. It can still pose a challenge depending on the teams that you put together. But from seeing what I did with my team and all the missions that I'm about to clear in one fell swoop, if you want to challenge yourself, you can get freaky with some of these team combinations. Look at, look at how many we're about to get. Seven missions. Seven. I don't want to click on all these because then I'll redeem it. I like picking up all my bounties at once. All right, so let's jump into the next team combination. Okay, so now we are going to be running three fusions, three androids, and all super types. So this is what we did. Movie heroes. So I am using the power of money. I am busting out the, the new character. Normally, I like to not do that, but this is not really one of those challenge events where you're going to struggle. So I feel like it's okay for me to do this. Again, I'm trying to squeeze all these missions into as few runs as possible. So the hope is for an, anyone but honestly, these two units right here, the tech... What is this? Gamma 1? This is Gamma 1. Tech Gamma 1 and Int Gogeta, just to keep them out of, out of the rotation at all times, would be best. Everybody else is cool. We don't even have to worry about the two-turn thing anymore because we already did it. So... Yeah, even if this takes a while, we should be good to go. Double Gogeta, actually quadruple Gogeta. All right, let's, let's go. The AOE is a bit of a concern. And it looks like, ooh, okay. We have one Gamma 1. Okay. The Gamma 1 is fine. 
The Int Super Gogeta is what I'm concerned about. Now, this guy gives himself some dodge if you pick up one Rainbow Key Sphere, you get a medium chance to dodge. And I have not used this character in years, so hidden potential is all over the place. All right, so let's do uh, let's do this. Maybe we can just do a number on him. Let's do this. Three Rainbow Key Spheres. And then uh, Gamma 1. Okay. Let's see how we do here. This is a Rainbow Friend unit. Yikes. Nobody actually got hit on the last run, so I don't even know how much damage this would do. Alright, so he's good. 67k. Oh, that's not that's not bad at all. Okay. I am recording this after having done all of the blue zone runs. So I'm a little I'm a little traumatized at the moment. Oh, dodge please. Nope, didn't dodge. Oh boy. Is that a wrap? <laughs> yes, it is. Okay. All right. Hey, all right, we're back. Uh, I was able to get through the last turn with the same exact rotation. The difference this time was that there was a lot more nerfing going on. And so if you keep this guy's attack stacking at bay by offsetting it with nerfs, weaker characters like Int Super Gogeta can survive the event. So don't be afraid to bring weaker units if you have no choice. If you're trying to do what I'm doing, where you're trying to consolidate like multiple missions all at once. You can definitely do it as long as you keep nerfing him. This is our second rotation. The first one was just what you saw, except it happened again. And now we will kill with STR Gogeta. STR Gogeta dodged in the middle? Since when? Am I forgetting that he has a built-in dodge in slot two? No, he doesn't. I think I gave him dodge in his hit of potential. Max additional, maybe balance dodge. All right, so that is the next run complete. So we finished three more missions here, all super types, fusion, and androids. So now in the span of two runs, we have cleared seven, actually what, no, 10 missions. All right, so let's move on to the next one, which is... Wicked Bloodline. We are going to clear with Wicked Bloodline and we are going to clear every single extreme type. We only have a few more of these things left, so we don't have to compress as many. What I also did with this team is I made sure to have everyone fit the friend freeze the leader skill. The reason why is because most of you may not have this character, but this unit hits incredibly hard. Insane attack stacking potential, virtually unparalleled and definitely the best in the category. So Bringing that as a friend unit is going to make this go far quicker. We don't have to worry about speed so much, but since the Broly can hit pretty hard, if you don't have a lot of nerfing or maybe you're kind of, you know, in a, in a bind, if you can just overpower the Broly, you will be fine. So everybody here fits. We got every single type. All right. Let's, let's do, this. do this. And we got the freeze on the first turn. I, You know what? This could be an OTK. This could be an OTK. How many links do we got? Oh my god, this is... I for, I've, it's been a while since I used the character. Does it matter how many orbs you pick up? No, there's no orb that matters here. Okay, so we are not fighting a low-class warrior, but we are fighting a pure Saiyan. So we should still do quite a number on him. Uh, let me pick up these so that we can allow for four orbs to be picked up over here. And then two more right here. We might take some heat. That physical cooler might get killed. And I don't think I've given him any dodge. So the AoEs might hurt. We're at 14.6 million attack stat. Let's see how much we can do. What? Uh, yeah, we're done. GG. Oh, really? No! Oh, okay. We're fine. Double digits? 
double digits. We're good. Did you see how fast we eviscerated his health? He also lost attack multiple times. That would have been the fastest clear we've ever done. Oh my god. That is insane. Even cooler. Type disadvantage did a number on him. All right. So that was easy. <laughs> friend Frieza did all of the work. All I did was set up the category to have the friend Frieza have the 200% lead. Yep. One minute and 20 seconds. That was with me yapping too. All right. So that clears that. We don't have too many more missions left. Clearing it 10 times is not even something I'm going to concern myself with. Now we've just got three categories left. We got to clear with three categories of six characters. So let's move on to probably the most difficult one for people in the stage one. So we're going to be running this again. Saiyan Saga, I'm bringing as many approachable older characters as possible. Double Yamcha. We got the World Tournament Tian Chaozu. World Tournament is happening this weekend or uh, might have already happened depending on when you're watching this video. So uh, do do the World Tournament so you could have a chance of getting Tian. Tian Chaozu is very good for Earthlings, Bond of Friendship, Saiyan Saga type stuff. More AGLs. We got the Kaioken Goku from Year 7 and the Bean Daddy. Let's All do right. it. Let's do this. Very good start. We've got all LRs, double AGL. This could be an OTK right here. Okay, so... I think I'll run it like this because... Yeah, let's, let's just do it like this. Do these guys actually share anything meaningful? They don't. All right, so let's have the Nappa Vegeta go first. Then we will have the Tian Chaozu go second. Tian Chaozu, they do better with more orbs picked up. When you're at key 18 or key 20, they get the most amount of abilities. So we got that. And then we'll give all these to the Kaioken. As long as we survive the AoEs, which we should, we will be fine. Vegeta! Bomber DX. When was the last time I heard him actually say that? Might have been Budokai. Budokai 3. You don't hear that anymore. Do you? What is the... What is the... I mean, like... Raditz's gimmick was the weekend. Saturday Crush. The weekend. Bomber DX. Like, what was the what was the idea behind that? Was that a localization thing, or was that was there something more meaningful behind the the phraseology of Nappa? Whoa! Eleven million damage with Tian Chaozu. Good lord! Another super. All right, that that should be it. Oh wow! Okay, you're gonna super Tian Chaozu. Bond of friendship stops you, baby. We're going to take double digits here. Nah, we're going to take... Yeah, we're going to take double digits. Tickle damage. Oh. 34k. All right. I stand corrected. Kaioken takes 28k. All right. That's it. All right, Saiyan Saga is complete. Remember, the friend unit can be whatever you want. So if you want to run full Saiyan Saga, but you can set it up where a friend unit could be, I don't know, like Beast Gohan or something like that, then sure, go ahead and do it. So only one mission was done here because we have to bring every single unit on the team. All the core six, they have to be Saiyan Saga. So let's have for the next one, let's do, uh, what is it? Uh, this one, Super Saiyans. Right? Yes. Let's do Super Saiyans next. So uh, I have a full Super Saiyan squad here. I can also bring the friend unit as the Super Saiyan trio. Would that work? Oh, yeah. They are movie heroes. So this, this is perfect. All right. Let's go ahead and do this. All right. Let's do this. Super Saiyan trio. We've got Go Bros. we got AGL Gogeta and Super Saiyan Gohan free to play on this one. This one might be a little tough, but I think we should be all right. Let me have Gobros go first. Then we will have Gogeta go second, followed by the free-to-play World Tournament Super Saiyan Gohan going third. A very good easy A. Very good easy A, especially on Movie Heroes and Super Saiyans. All right, so we're taking about 75k pre-super. 
So with all of these stacks here, the Gobros will be fine. The more attacks they launch, the better off they're going to... That's it? Only two? Wow, everybody dodge. Nice. Dodge. Dodge. One more. Dodge. Six dodges in a row. Seven dodges. These are my LA Dodgers. Comment section down below. Any LA Dodgers fans? Boyers fans? Let me know. We just dodged the super attack and his AoE. I love dodge. I think I might love dodge too much, actually. This is now becoming a complex. His attack is going up. These units are not really putting him in check, though. Uh, okay, so we got a full Super Saiyan rotation, which means this guy is going to be able to do ridiculous damage. Spirit Bomb Absorb Goku, so let's put him right there. Uh, then we can have the Super Saiyans follow that. Can we bring those Int Orbs down for the Super Saiyan Trio? Perfect! All right. This should definitely take him out. Oh, he's supering. eighty four k okay cool twelve point one million attack stat for the spirit bomb absorbed Songoku. whoa fifteen point six and we nerfed him everybody's good super Saiyan trio might take a little bit nope okay Oh, they nerf. Okay. I never use these guys. Nobody uses the AGL Super Saiyans. So I literally forgot everything that they do. Nerfing, lowering defense and whatnot. Okay. So there you have it. That is the Super Saiyan team. That leaves us with just one more category left. And that is Realm of Gods. That is uh, the last team that I got to quickly assemble. We will run that. I am not going to be doing 10 runs in this video, but you... Whatever team you have the easiest time working on the event, just run it back a few more times. Auto it or just play it yourself. All right, let me quickly set up Realm of Gods. Let's do it. All right, let's do this. It's just, I mean, it's over. We don't even have an easy A on the LR UI Goku, and we're going to OTK right here. All right, so let's put, uh, let's put these two together. Let's have the blues go first. Oh, man, actually, hold on. Our key is kind of terrible, so maybe this goes one more turn. Yep. Had that easy A kicked in before I did this, then that would not... This would be a completely different conversation. Four million. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna drag this out a little bit, just for entertainment purposes. There's an AoE. We're good. We're good. And we're good. Dodge. Dodge. So many dodges. Now, what I'm not completely understanding here is why sometimes these attacks do nothing to them. It's not about the crits, because sometimes just slaps don't do anything. I mean, uh, slaps do a ton of damage. Am I, am I forgetting something? Does he have some, like, roulette defense thing where after X amount of hits, he tanks all hits or something like that? I don't know. I am recording all of this on day one of part two, so I am fairly burnt out right now. I'm sure once we know what's going on in there, I'll leave something in the pinned comment or something. All right, so let's have, uh, you know what? Let's have Gogeta go first. Then we'll have Vegito go second, followed by the gods going third. Why? Because why not? Oh. Uh, 
Am I gonna time travel? Yikes! Okay. It might just be that slaps aren't very. Uh oh. Okay. Whew. I wasn't gonna have to restart again, was I? I actually en might end up having to just because. You know what's funny? For some reason, on this final stretch, I might be taking a little too easy. And Broly's getting mad. I'm, I'm getting punished right now. Oh my gosh. 26. Dodge. Okay. I don't have a transformation coming in anytime soon. I gotta I gotta get it together here. This video was going too smoothly. Something had to go wrong. Oh my god, no way. He's supering twice? Alright, you know what? I'm mad now. Alright, let's do this. Alright, we're bringing Extreme Future Saga. We are just gonna keep on nerfing him. We are going to Realm of Gods the heck out of him. You're done. You're done. You're done. Oh, wait. Uh. No, you, you're still done. You're still done. Just don't super in slot one. All right, you're done. You are done. Nerf. Everybody else is fine. You're just making me stronger. There we go. There we go. That's what you get for trolling me. Oh, we could have OTK'd this. I had one more additional on the Goku Black. EGL Goku Black will nerf him, but he probably won't kill. Yeah, look at his attack stat. Very low. He's a good support. For some reason, I don't know why, but my EGL Goku Black... I gi I've given him 25 dodge. For some reason, he is one of the most consistent dodging units in my entire box. Whenever I need it. Whenever I need it. He is that consistent. Alright, so let's do this. Let's do that. And that is a wrap on Ultimate Thrill Excite Bike Battle. Oh, and there you go. Goku Black Rose can nullify. <laughs> he also has guard and damage reduction on this first turn. So even if he hit, hit that attack, I don't know if it would have done a whole lot. Plus, we got the big bad boss connection. We got max links, 200%. Yada, yada, yada. Looks like he wants to get destroyed by the purple hammer. All right. Hit him with it. There we go. All right. All missions complete. All I got to do now is simply rinse and repeat a couple more times with whatever team I want, either via auto or I just do the, the manual runs myself, and that will take care of the rest. So there you have it. Ultimate thrilling battle, excite battle is now complete. All missions taken care of. Will they do more of these? I hope so. These are nice little bite-sized challenges that are honestly kind of a nice change of pace from the brutal, grueling 10-turn fights that is Blue Zone, Red Zone, Legendary Events. I actually like this. It's not challenging in the conventional sense, but it is still a fun, thrilling ride. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like down below. Let in the comments. What were some of the teams that you were able to put together to maybe combine missions? Or what were some of the most difficult missions that you were trying to do? Did you do them separately? Let me know who was some of your best units or best combinations. Which ones were some of the worst ones? What was the most amount of damage you took on this event? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, be sure to subscribe for more dope content of the future. And click the notification bell so that you, the dude, know you're going to see more of my stuff. Do it! Thanks again. Stay tuned. And I'm to Dokkan responsibly.